Modern vehicles and modern customers are much more sensitive to brake pedal pulsations. These customers are also looking for their vehicles to be fixed right the first time. To really cure pulsation, we not only must address thickness of the rotor and surface finish, but lateral runout as well. This brief animation shows how lateral runout leads to brake pedal pulsation. Let's presume the new rotor we use in repairing our customer's vehicle is perfectly made, evenly thick, and not distorted in any way. Runout is common because we can never guarantee that the hub or the rotor are perfect, and even if one of them is, the final indicated runout is dependent on the other. Once excessive runout is set in motion, the rotor will contact the pads once per side on each revolution, wearing material away and thin spots into the rotor. This thickness variation is what is felt by your customer as brake pedal pulsation. Major auto manufacturers agree that lateral runout must be addressed at the time of installation and or repair. ProCut's OEM Summary Guide contains actual warranty policy bulletins that confirm correct repair methods. By checking the brake spec guide, we can see that the tightest spec in the industry is one thousandth of an inch. That has become ProCut's goal every time. Well, for comparison, we measured three common objects, U.S. currency, a post-it note, and adding machine paper. The thinnest was still three times thicker than the amount of allowable runout on the outer edge of a brake rotor, new or used. To test our theory that even new rotors need to be matched, we first set up a new hub on a test stand and verified that it was within spec for runout. Next, we purchased three sets of rotors from three different vendors and then installed them on our known good hub. We used a ProCut adapter in place of a wheel and set the torque evenly on all lug nuts. Then we checked the lateral runout on the rotor face as it would be installed on the car. We measured each rotor and then recorded the results. What we found was surprising. Even on a good hub, all six rotors were out of spec. Was the problem in the hub? Was it in the rotor? Reality is, it doesn't matter. It needs to be corrected. The important question is, how are we going to correct it quickly and efficiently? The answer given by most OEMs is with a ProCut PFM rotor matching system. With the touch of one button, the machine adjusts relative to the vehicle's hub, so it is in near perfect alignment before making the cut. So this rotor will match this hub perfectly. In this fast motion demonstration, we show how to correct lateral runout using a ProCut PFM 9.2. The entire process will be completed in 7 to 9 minutes. The amount of material removed is relative to the amount of runout measured. This rotor had 6 thousandths of lateral runout, so we will need to remove five thousandths from each side to be at a final runout of one thousandth. With the help of a roller tip dial indicator, we can literally see the lateral runout corrected as the cut is completed. Ask yourself, how much final runout would you want on your customer's rotors? So the next time you install new rotors for your customer, remember, unless you measure or use the ProCut rotor matching system, you have no way of knowing if you're sending the job out fixed right the first time. And now, the ProCut rotor matching system includes point-of-sale marketing materials to help you present your customers 
with the best brake job money can buy.